Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome to the free show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Stranger of Sword City. It's by Experience Inc., NIS America Inc., and Team Muramasa. It just released onto Steam June 6, 2016, and you can get it for 25% off if you grab it before June 13. Now, the game, to my knowledge, has been released like a thousand times. I don't know. It's been released on the PS Vita, the Xbox 360, the Xbox One, PC at an earlier date. And it's weird. I was looking at the wiki page, and there's like nine dates for when this game released. But either way, it just released on the Steam. I'd never actually played it before or heard about it, so I looked at it. I was like, wow, that looks really cool. I'd like to get my hands on it. So here it is. It's going to be a little bit different than anything that I've covered before. And one of the things that is different is it does not have English voice acting. Therefore, there's going to be stuff that pops up, subtitles, and I will do my best to read through it. And I will be talking over the Japanese voice acting. I apologize, no offense to any of the Japanese voice actors, I apologize for this, but I have a predominantly English-speaking, or people who at least expect English commentary, uh, as my audience, so I will be doing that. So, I guess that's it. Without any further ado, let's begin. This game is a work of fiction. Any resemblance to real persons, locations, or events is coincidental. And now our top story, the missing airliner. And as announced previously, the location of the plane that vanished yesterday is still unknown. The missing plane is North Asian Airline Flight, which left a Narita Airport en route to Anchorage, Alaska. It then vanished over the Pacific Ocean. Relevant ministries fear an accident occurred. Okay, well, we're going to try to play up to the first save point. I don't know exactly how long that's going to take me, but we'll do our best to get through it quickly enough that it's not going to be like an hour-long episode. You are prodded by a dull pain and start to regain consciousness. You finally open your eyes and see ruins drowned by sand. Noise and the force of impact still echo through your head. There must have been a crash. Your body hurts, but miraculously, you aren't fatally wounded. When you realize you're safe, your attention turns to the cold. You search for something warm to wear, and you find an old box. We're going to wear an old box? What? No. You don't even care about the mold. You wrap the cloth around yourself. It's not a good look, but you don't have the time to care. Please select your game difficulty. Beginner! No, we're going to go with normal. Game difficulty set to normal. Sweet. All right. Please select the looks of the particular character. It does not affect gameplay in any way, shape, or form. Um, there are a bunch of different looks. We're just going to go through them so you guys see what options are there. So you have this, I'm assuming, guy. Then a gal, a gal, another gal. There's going to be lots of women that you can choose to play as. Or to look like, I suppose. Not necessarily play as. I believe I, there's something like 40 choices for your initial character. 
Now, I played around with this a little bit to get an idea of what the game has to offer for like, like 45 minutes last night. And I think I settled upon that guy. That was the guy I chose. This guy's pretty cool too. I like I like the, the weird p messy ponytail hair thing going on there. Well, you're old man, I'm not quite that old yet, guys and gals. Okay. Can we, do we get to continue? It says six will turn the page, or maybe I just click on this. There we go. We can have we can have a ninja. I actually want my I want to scroll through with the arrow keys. There we go. All right. Go through just a little bit quicker. You guys can pause if anything catches your eye and you're like, yeah, I, I like that character. I, I don't know why you'd want to pause. I mean, we're just looking at character portraits, but it's okay. It's okay. I don't judge. I don't judge. Eh. And then you have the little dwarven dudes. Uh, unfortunately, I believe you can only have a human as your main character, but there are several other races that you can unlock later on for your party Alright, so we have these short people, these weird cat individuals. Let's see here. Ooh, fully armored knight type guy. This guy's angry looking. That's kind of cool. I like that. Interesting stuff. Some different, like, color changes there. Not too bad. And now it looks like we kind of went away from... I don't know, like more like hand drawn. I don't know what you want to call it. So more of an anime style, I guess, is what I would say the difference is. Because there's definitely a clear difference between the two. Oh, and you can actually uh, upload your own uh, user versions too. I considered uploading just like my logo, the you know the the fedora, the shadowy fedora circle thing, but I decided I'd probably just pick a character. It makes more sense. Well, there you have it. So those are the different characters you can choose from. I'm probably going to go with uh, this guy. Well, why not? We are going to be male. Alright, now we get to choose our age. And I don't know exactly what this means. And I apologize, folks, because I've never played a game quite like this. This is like part RPG, part I mean, like heavy story-driven thing. It's a, it's a dungeon crawler along the lines of something like um, Legend of Grimrock. So, it's quite different, but it looked like it was going to be a lot of fun, and playing it so far, I've actually enjoyed it. Uh, the storyline seems to be good enough. I mean, I enjoy it. It's, it's not horrible or lame in any way, so, I mean, that's good. Yeah, we'll see. All right, maximum life points and minimum bonus points will change according to age. This affects revive and recover time. I don't know exactly how this works, but if you go down to the youngest, you get three and three. Max life point is three minimum bonus point is three I don't know what that means exactly but once you get just outside what is it like 20 just at 20 you get a max life of two with a bonus of five then you go a little bit further and you get a max life of there we go around 40 two with a bonus of seven and then when you get into the even older stage here you get one in ten so I'm going to go with my actual age. I'm 33, so we'll go with that. We're 2 and 5. I don't know if that's good, bad, or indifferent, but that's what we're going to roll with next. Uh, as you see, there are other races. There's the Nay, the Migmi, the Dwarves, the Elves, and, of course, the Humans. The Humans are straight down the board, 9 through uh, for all the stats. The Elves, a little bit more on the intelligent side and a little bit more on the agile side. They're not super strong, and the rest of their stuff is kind of eh. The dwarves are really strong, not super smart, not very agile, but eh, they're not all extra lucky either. And then you have the Migmi, which I believe are the short, like, halfling, hobbit-looking folks. They're not strong, they're not intelligent, but they have a lot of whatever pie is. I don't know what pie is, I don't remember, and I apologize. Um, we'll, we'll figure it out eventually there. Um, they are agile, and they are lucky as well. And then the Ney, I believe, are cat people. They are pretty strong, not as strong as the dwarves, but they're fairly strong, they're very agile, in fact, the most agile, yes. They're the most agile, they have a kind of down the middle vitality, not super intelligent, or not super intelligent, oh, this must be piety. Uh, they don't have a lot of piety, and their luck is a little bit below average. Anyway, we don't have a choice, we're going with human, we're going next. Uh, we don't have any of these other talents unlocked, I don't know if like playing through the game further allows you to do that or what, but the chosen one... This all plays into the storyline as well. So we will go here and chosen one. 
And now we get to do the rolling. Anything above five is okay. Uh, I've gotten, like, like last time when I did this, I started with a seven, then I got a bunch of sixes, I got an eight, and I actually ended up with a nine. But you can get anywhere from five to ten, I believe. So we're going to scroll through here. We're going to try to roll through. If we get beyond a six, I'll take it. So this may take us a minute or two. Maybe we'll get lucky. We'll nail that ten. I don't know. But you're going to notice we're going to get a lot of fives. I was super happy when I got the nine because I was just about to give up. I'm like, I'll just take whatever. I'll take a six if I have to. I'm not sure what exactly this does for us, but obviously a higher number has got to be better, right? So there we go. We'll take the eight. Oh yes, it gives us bonus points that we can go with uh, stats. You can continue to roll until you get a 10. I just don't know if you guys have the patience for that. I, I certainly don't. Alright, so we get 8 bonus points here. I'm going to go with um, 2 into Strength. We're going to go with 2 into Vitality. 2 into Agility. And then, let's see, i got 2 left. I'm going to go with 1 more into Agility and 1 more into Strength. I think that's going to be the play. Yeah, because we're going to probably be some sort of frontliner. We're probably going to be like a samurai. I think that was the class I chose. So there's a bunch of different classes here. There's the fighter, the knight, the samurai, the wizard, the cleric, the ranger, the ninja, and the dancer. The fighter, a true soldier that specializes in close combat. He's heavily armed. Uh, mainly stays in the front row to protect allies. Heavily armored. The samurai, a front row speedy fighter. That's what I'm probably going to use. He uses one-hit sword kills. We have the wizard, a magician that specializes in offensive and support magic. The cleric, a healer, if equipped with blunt weapons, it fights from mid-range. Cool. The ranger, a mid-range class that attacks with bows, weak but agile. The ninja is apparently a class for advanced players. It can perform various roles. Originally, I was drawn to the ninja, but since it says it's for advanced players and I've never played a game quite like this, I figured I wouldn't go with that one. And then finally, the dancer is a trickster that specializes in singing and dancing. Well, we're going to go with our samurai. And we're going to hit next. And I guess this is just to hear what the different voices sound like. I, I'm, I don't really know what this does. Alright, we'll scroll up a little bit here. Sounds a little bit different. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're going to go... Let's see. Okay, we can... we're gonna go with that guy right there. So let's see. Is seventeen gonna be the same? Yeah, we'll go with seventeen across the board. I like the sound. That <laughs> sounds good. All right, so that's gonna be it. All right, we get to choose our name. We're gonna go with uh, the simple and easy uh, Bumpy McSquiggums. No special funny names this time around, guys and gals. We're just gonna go with straight down the line. And of course, if we're Bumpy McSquiggums, our nickname has to be Bumpy because you know that just makes sense, right? And next. Alright, so we've checked. Our name is there, or human, or samurai, the chosen one. We have these stats. Is everything okay? We say yes, and we begin our journey. How long has it been? Bumpy roams around the sandy ruin, alone. But then, you notice something echoing behind you. Oh, oh... I knew it! You've arrived! It's a creepy old guy. You turn around and see an elderly man that you don't recognize. The elder is scared as if he is staring at a beast. You, you right there. From the looks of you, you've come from the land of the strange. By the way, folks, I have the voices turned down a bit. You can still hear it in the background, but... You can turn it up louder. I have it purposely set lower, so it wasn't. It's not super hard for me to talk over. And again, my apologies if you guys really want to hear the voice. Go get the game, guys. Go get the game. Anyway, continuing onward. The flying ship that fell here. Looks like you are the only survivor. How pitiful. Who? Who are you? I don't even have a name now. I'm just an old man. But anyway, I digress. You should get out of here, quick. You are a stranger. You have special power in this land. The evil that crashed your ship must have sent someone after you. You cannot let the greedy corrupt someone with your magnificent power. I'll lead the way. Please, just head north. I won't do you wrong. 
All right, so we get out of here. The elder disappeared, okay? We get out of here by heading north, apparently. Display the help button with button 9. I don't... It's fine. You can see help, control, descriptions, and return to title. Help dialogue can be opened during battle and almost any other time. All right, so here we are. It controls much like it does with um, uh, Legend of Grimrock or Fall of the Dungeon Guardians. I've actually swapped the strafe and the turn keys because those were backwards for me. But, yeah, you can turn in any direction. And you can move in any direction as well, which is pretty sweet. They had an option as well, instead of turning backward or instead of moving backwards, it would automatically spin you to face the other way. I didn't care for that, but maybe that's an option that you would prefer to have. Anyway, let's continue on. <laughs> Surprised? This is a dark road. Your sight won't help you. But no need to worry. Just keep moving. I, you know, I could be like, blah, 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 blah. You know, my old, my old man voice. But eh, I'm just gonna go with a normal voice. We'll read through this. Let you guys use your imagination, because there's no way I'm doing multiple girl voices and. I just don't have enough voices in my repertoire to actually voice act the entire game on my own, so be it be it that it may, or oh boy, I can't even use my correct phrase, be that as it may, uh, it should still be fun, there we go, there's the phrase, see, I told you I knew English. Alright, I don't want to go that way yet, I love the fact that there's a mini map, I think R brings up an overview map, we really wanted to, that doesn't seem to do anything for me. Huh weird. Oh no, I don't want to auto-move to a destination. This is a terrible map. Alright, anyway. We'll continue on this way. There's nothing over there. There appears to be a door over here. But there does not appear to be a way through. So it looks like we will be backtracking to that other door. That we saw. Which is over here. Let's see what's back here. A dead end. Okay. We'll go on through this way. And that was the door that we came through that we couldn't get past. And we will continue onward. And there is a thing in front of me that I am going to have to deal with. I don't know what it is. We're about to find out. An armored corpse lies here. Or there. This might be useful. There is a bag full of items. Received three potions. Queet? Or queet? Sweet. That was quick and easy. Or queet, as it were. That's quick and sweet, I think. I think that's what queet is. Apparently, I can smash my face against this, but it doesn't help me get through the door any quicker. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any way of getting there. Investigating... There is a door closed by a device. Well, that doesn't help us, does it? Alright, well, let's see what this does. Apparently, those were staircases, or a staircase, or steps of some sort. A piercing breeze blows through, leaving clouds of dust. In the distance, under the starry sky, machines rust like skeletons. Huh. Do you see them? They all rain down from the sky. A long time ago, the Great One rebelled against God. The attempt failed, but the struggle left a scar. That's how the door that leads to the land of strangers was created. But after all is said, it isn't so bad. These things falling from the sky are like treasure to the poor. <laughs> after all this, I found you. That's not good. As the elder raises his voice, a snake monster appears. And apparently, suddenly a giant wyvern appears as well. Well, we're in the doo-doo. It's not good stuff here. The vessels, they've been waiting for you to fall into this land. But it's too late for you. Lie down and be devoured. You're insane! <laughs> Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Oh, snippity snap! That wyvern's head just went cursed splat. Without warning, a triumphant voice comes from behind the old man. The giant wyvern's neck makes a wet, slicing sound and splits. The girl who slew the wyvern yells to Bumpy, drenched in blood. Let's finish this. You there, give me a hand. Battle time! Alright folks, we're about to go and start our very first battle. Enemy encountered. 
All right. Ooh, we can repeat. That's interesting. Um, sorry. Uh, we're going to... She seems a little bit stronger than we are. She's got 251 health. We have 31. She does seem to be a bit stronger. She also looks like she has some skills. The Chivalric Sword. Attack an enemy in each row. Halves a user's defense plus creatures. Weird. Let's do it. Uh, sure. Whatevs. We'll fight that. And I think we're just going to fight as well. Alright, and we can do the fast application, which we may end up switching to later on down the road, but I enjoy seeing the numbers and everything, so I'm probably just going to go through uh, apply action over and over again. So we swung our weapon, and it says up here, Ryu unleashed a sword of chivalry on uh, Baby... Babydra A. And it looks like it did 128 damage, it hit it twice, so there we go. And it attacked the Hydra with the Master Sword. Two hits for 128 damage as well. And then we swing, and it dodged our attack. Oh no, it swung, and we dodged its attack. Now we attacked with our wooden katana, because we have a wooden katana, apparently. And we did 18 damage, not quite 128, but still impressive. And then we attacked with a short katana as a follow-up. And two hits, and we did seven damage to him. The Hydra is hesitating, and it's not moving at all. The baby attacked me again, but I dodged the attack. Now they move behind the big Hydra. Alright, we're going to use the skill again for our gal pal here. The Chivalric Sword. We're going to attack the Hydra. And we are going to fight. And we could fight them, or we could zip back here and attack the baby Dra. I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh, I actually can't. I can only attack this one. Alright, we'll apply the action. 131 damage, and 136 on the other Hydra in the back. We did 12, followed up with an additional 2 damage. The swing is real. It hit us for 23, which almost killed us. We dodge the attack. We dodge the other attack. It's not moving at all. We're going to fight now. Actually, we're not going to fight. We're going to use our skill once again. And we are going to use an item on Bumpy and heal ourselves up. And apply the action. She unleashed, unleashed her sword. 126 damage there. And another 63 on the baby on the back. Somebody ran out of energy. I guess the guy that we killed. We used a potion, restored some of our HP, but not a tremendous amount. It attacked her for 27 damage, and the giant tail missed us. We dodged, we dodged. We're going to skill it up again with the chivalric sword. This time we're just going to man up and fight. Alright, let's apply the action. We attack first, 12 damage. Follow up with a 1 damage. She hits for 119, enough to take him out. And the follow up, 134, and the victory, folks. Well, there you go. The result, 39 blood gems, I guess, and we got 766 points of experience. Cool. And we got three helmets, oddly. Well, I suppose they were, it was a three-headed Hydra. No! What, what are you? That, that soul, it's, it's mine. Shut your mouth, get out of here. If I see your face again, I swear I'll kill you. <laughs> Such a ferocious girl. That was unexpected of a vessel. It's alright, I... I still have... enough time. Alright, creepy. Definitely creepy. The Elder's voice fades away, somewhere beyond the dust cloud. Are you alright? It looks like I made it just in time. You saved me. Eh, you don't need to thank me. Girl with sword, that's who she is. I did what I have to as a member of the Strangers Guild. Uh, I, I, I'm gonna, by the way, that's another thing I should warn you guys. I'm gonna butcher, like, every name known to man, so just be aware of that. We're gonna say that she's Ryu, uh, Tsukisada? Tsukisada? I don't know. I'm sure I'm butchering it, and I apologize. And what's your name? You introduce yourself? Nice to meet you. I am Bumpy McSquiggums. It is nice to meet me, Ryu. I am like you, a stranger who wandered into this world. We have a lot to talk about, but first we have to get out of here. That guy just now might come back with a lot more monsters. Who was that? I don't know, but strange things happen here. Things that you'd never imagine on the other side. The exit is west of us. Let's go. Alright, we're going to try to hustle, guys and gals. I know I'm running out of time for this episode, and I want to be able to get to the save point. 
Unfortunately, there's no mid, uh, mid dungeon or mid mission or mid whatever save point, so we're really gonna have to hustle to make it there. All right. Sorry. Give me a second. Do you want to take this? She gave me three more potions. Nice. Look out for yourself. Oh no! See? Here's some coming this way. This will be good practice. If you're ready, give it a shot. Time for more battle. Oh, we're still hurt from the previous one. Interesting. Enemy encountered. Alright, we're going to have her skill up with the chivalric sword. And we are going to use our potion on ourselves. And apply the action. 88 damage. We recovered. He attacked. They both missed. Oh, only one missed. Oh my gosh, we almost died again. Alright, she's going to fight this guy. We are going to once again use our item. 80 damage took him out. The goblin attacked. We dodged it. We used our potion. Yeah! Alright, we're going to fight one more time. And again, we're going to potion it up. It's not great. We should probably use the potion outside of combat. So there's 88 damage there. We potioned it up. We're back to full health. One point of damage to the gal. Looks like we're going to be solid now. We'll fight. We're just going to defend because we're cowards and that's what we do. And she's taking him out for 78 damage. And the victory is ours. Very nice. We've leveled up. 468 points of experience. No blood gems this time around. You did good out there. Do you know martial arts? Well, just sports. I'm actually a pro. No, I'm a gamer. Eh, I'm kind of between. I actually know more martial arts than your average person. But we'll go with a gamer. It's fine. Ha <laughs> then I guess you found a new skill. But don't worry, if you're not that athletic. In this world, we strangers are far stronger than others. Well, what do you mean? Yes, uh, well, anyone would notice it. Gravity isn't as strong here. You can carry heavy weight, no problem. You're looking at a good example. I can use this sword easily, and I don't get exhausted quickly. I was into archery in high school, but that doesn't mean just any high school girl can fight. Strangers are stronger here. Didn't you see it for yourself? So have some confidence. That's the most important thing. Alright, confidence. Oh, yeah, and, uh, take this. Hey, I received a stranger's badge. It's not much, but it's a charm that can heal your wounds. It'll come in handy, so please keep it close. Cool. Alright, tells you how to equip stuff. I'm just going to use a mouse for most of it. Now, let's get ready and head out. The city isn't too far from here. Once we make it back to the city is where we'll be able to do stuff. I'm going to press R. And we're going to go into party. And I'm going to go with member and us. This is our equipment screen. There's another way to get here quicker. I just don't remember what it is off the top of my head. I'm going to go with equipment. We're going to use our accessory here. It's a stranger's badge. What does it do? Does it tell it? Oh, oh that just backed me out. That's not what I wanted to do at all. What is it? It doesn't say what it does. Yeah. Item description. Oh, here we go. Charm given to those that are affiliated with the guild. Plus 5 to ID, plus 5 to OL, and plus 1 to HP. Okay. Whatever that means. Whatever that means. Do we have any additional things that we can equip? Anything for our head? No? Nope. We have our short katana. And we have a wooden katana. I feel like the short katana does more damage than the wooden one. But I don't think the wooden one would go well in our offhand. I don't know. It's fine. Alright, we're going to back out in a second. But first I'm going to level up, actually. Bumpy leveled up. Alright, we got one bonus point to add at this particular point, And... Plus two. All right, our, our one is okay. Uh, I'm gonna go with vitality. I want a little bit more HP. All right, 17 more HP coming our way, and we can continue on our little adventure now. And we need to go this way. This way. Here we go. Don't want to head that way. Want to continue on this direction. Okay, and we're nearly out. There is the exit right in front of us. You can see the road covered in sand, spanning to the horizon. 
This is the edge of the ruins. This leads to the city. We go there, we're safe. Huh? And, of course, bad Juju Magumbo is going to happen. This can't mean a lineage type here? Uh, what is that? I'll tell you later. Just don't get hit. Alright, well, looks like we're going to be doing battle. Lineage appeared. Alright, an enemy is encountered, and we're going to be up against this thing. We're, of course, going to use our skill with our chivalric uh, dealy, and we're going to defend with our boy. And she's going to attack with Reckless Abandon, 66 damage, and we kill, or we hit the little guy there. Attacked us, we dodged it, and the others aren't moving, which is good. We're going to chivalric sort it up once again. We're going to defend ourselves one more time. We don't have a lot of HP. I don't know how hard this thing hits. 113 damage there, not bad. 120 to follow it up. Hit her for 27. We defended, and it defended. Alright, well, we might be okay. I'm actually going to fight this thing. I'm going to throw my, my lot into the mix here. 135 damage. A little baby attack there. We attacked. Oh, we missed. And we missed again. That's not good. Ooh, it hit, us, it hit her with the tongue. Oh, and then we got hit for... 20 damage, not great. Alright, we're going to skill it up one more time with the chivalric sword. We're going to use our item here. Throw a heal out on ourselves and apply. And enough damage to kill off the baby. The worm attack tongue thingy almost killed us, not quite. We healed with a potion. And now the fight begins. We're going to defend and hope that it's enough to keep us alive. 71... We defended, it attacked, we dodged, she didn't. And we're going to defend again, we'll apply the action. 69. She's getting beat down a little bit, we're hanging in there. Defend one more time. And victory is ours. Sweet. Alright, we got a blood crystal, and we got 51 blood gems and 1177 experience points. Sweet, we're almost up to the next level. Not bad, not bad. We got a blade, a rare blade, and a sword. Cool. The monster's body vanishes. Then a bright light emerges and a fragment of crystal remains. This is a blood crystal, the lineage type's energy source. If you don't take the crystal, they can resurrect. Ryu stops speaking, then raises her face to look at Bumpy. You know, we should test it out. Try to pick up the blood crystal. Um, will it hurt? No, it shouldn't, but maybe. Bumpy carefully reaches for the blood crystal. Then suddenly, it settles into your hands as if it were sucked in. I knew it. The moment I saw you, I knew you have very special powers. Uh, what just happened? The blood crystal accepted you. Only some strangers can do that. Those who can are called the Chosen Ones. Cool. <laughs> I like the enthusiasm. Let's go, I will guide you from here. Your visit is quite welcome. Welcome to Ascario, Sword City. Alright, and we get to perform item identification and cleanse. What do we get? A dented pot plus one times three, a broken dagger, ooh, a master dagger, the first dagger made in Sword City, can dual wield without the skill, ooh, shiny, and a short sword plus three, not bad, not bad at all, I guess, I, I don't know, maybe it's terrible, I have no idea, what do I, what do, I do, okay, all right, we're gonna go to the stranger base, and we're about ready to break off the episode, this should allow us to save soon, not quite yet, we have another few minutes of storyline to get through and then we'll be able to save guys and gals and break off the episode like I said this is definitely different for me but it's enjoyable I'm having fun with it I hope you guys are too this fort is the strangers guild it's the base for us strangers and it's your home now too so by all means make yourself comfortable and relax Ryu oh Kyo 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 we'll go with Kyo what happened? What's wrong? What happened? You disappeared all of a sudden. Me? What if something had happened? I know I keep saying it, but you have to be more careful. Ryu, you're the leader of the strangers right now. I'm sorry. I saw the plane falling, and I couldn't help but go look. 
a plane, so then this person next to you... Yes, our new ally. We met at the Mausoleum of Metal. Ah, I see. That's why you suddenly... Well, I guess I can't blame you for that. Nice to meet you. I am uh, Kayo Korimitsu. No point using our real names here, but it's a formality. If you ever have any trouble, you can let me know. I'm sort of a well-known stranger around here. You're so polite at first. I'm always polite. Well, as long as that person isn't unreasonable. What? Am I that unreasonable? I don't know. It depends. Oh, Anna was looking for you. That's perfect. Kayo, I'm going to ask for your help for training, so be prepared. Understood. Then I guess I'll see you later. Alright. Guided by Ryu, Bumpy walks on a tour of the fortress. They reach a starlit garden and exit into a hall surrounding it. This is the guild's main corridor. This is connected to the base, shop, and leader's room. I'll leave out the explanations. Just remember that part. Oh, it's Mi it's Ms. Subleader. When did you get back? Just then, someone spots Ryu and calls to her. I'm home, Ms. Ger Gerba. Keesh, where were you? You just ran off, and it was just chaos around here. I'm sorry, something came up. Let me introduce you. This is Miss Gerba. She helps us. Oh my, no wonder I didn't recognize your face. You must be new. I am the caretaker Gerba. Pleased to meet you. By the way, stranger, is this your first time meeting a Migmi? Um, Migmis are the race of Mrs. Gerba. We don't share ancestry. Many races live in Sword City. Migmis, nay, that look like cats, elves, and humans. That's about it. Huh? Aren't we missing one? Oh, yes, the short, bushy-bearded dwarves. Their kind are especially difficult to handle, so you be careful now. Stop giving biased opinions. What do you mean, biased? It's important to know each race. Come to the base later. I have something to go over there. All right, I'll be waiting for you. Well, here's where I'll leave you. You can look around the guild or take a rest somewhere. I will be in the leader's room, so come over later. I have a lot to talk about, like our duties as strangers. Well, I'll see you in a bit. All right, folks, that is going to do it for the first episode of A Stranger of Sword City. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, this is something a little bit different for me. I haven't played anything quite like this. I hope you guys are going to enjoy it alongside me. It definitely looked interesting. I saw there were like several, I, I don't know, I want to say six or eight people you can have in your party at once. It's going to be cha chaotic and crazy, but it should be a lot of fun. And I'm going to enjoy it, and you guys should as well. Anyway, if you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, or any of the wonderful fun stuff that I always include, it'll be down below in the description of the video. If you guys enjoyed, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. And I will see you guys next time with more Stranger of Sword City. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.